Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your uh, oracle reading for this week. I had to think about what I was doing. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and get into this Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, the good news is that prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Okay, so uh, your prosperity could show up for you around, uh, what is this, spring, April, in the Taurus new moon, or around the Taurus season. Um, if not, then do know that whatever you're working hard on, it's going to manifest for you. Uh, that big thing that you've been wanting to purchase, um, that you've been wanting to invest in or you are investing in, it's going to turn out well for you. Keep going. Don't give up. It's time for you to pamper yourself too. pamper yourself. It's time for you to. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. I got a text. OK, it's time for you to get a massage for some of you. Some of you are very tense, okay? So you need to get a massage. You need to de-stress, uh, stay firm in your goals, uh, stay calculated. This is a time for you to be focused on your money, what it's doing for you, how it's working for you. Are you saving? Even if it's that you can only save a little bit, save something, put something away, save. Uh, it's just time for you to focus now, uh, focus on the things that you want, because it says that they're coming into you uh, very soon. Um, yeah, that this is pretty much what this card talks about. OK. Um, if you, this also for you, for some of you, this is um, the opportunity to. Uh, have an, a new person come in with true love this is destined this person is being truthful they're showing up genuine whomever this is this could be a new person for some of you some of you um you manifested this person okay you manifested this person into your life uh you used all your white witch manifestation tools to bring this new love into your life so it's going to be a, a new sexier uh fulfilling um time for you with a, a true love somebody that is uh, could turn into a life partner but definitely someone who's showing up genuine who is not a liar who is not a doesn't play games okay so um it looks like in every area of your life um, you will have prosperity okay so in your love money career uh just keep going and keep manifesting okay um okay so now for the the other side of that well i'll stick with who and what you should be um aquarius so we also have show the world the real you full moon in aquarius okay so this is about um being your quirky, unique, unconventional self. Show the world the real you. Some of you have been just on the sideline, okay? Um, not engaging in life, letting life pass you by, not wanting to get out there, dress up, get out there, put yourself out there, not showing the world what you really have to offer. Um, and it says show the world the real you. It says that maybe even in a relationship, um, it could take an unexpected return, uh, unexpected turn. Now, a relationship could be platonic, familiar. It could be uh, romantic. So in some relationship, there could be something unexpected here. You may feel like somebody has you uh, at arm's length, like they don't want you close. Someone could feel like they need to let you go. They're having a hard time letting you go or you're having a hard time letting someone go or the idea of the relationship or the idea of the person. But right now it says, um, don't be frightened by this. Uh, understand that everything is happen happening according to how things should unfold, okay? Um, also, some of you, did, look, get out of your head. Get into your heart. What are you feeling? Uh, have you asked yourself that, you know, how do I feel about that? Um, a friend might need you also. 
um, do know that there's going to be some unexpected turn. Um, do expect the unexpected here because Aquarius is unique. Um, you know, um, adventurous, uh, spontaneous. So do expect some spontaneous um, turn here. Somebody could be coming off detached like they don't want to deal, but it, they're dealing with their own issues right now. And maybe they're holding you back. And it says, don't lose Aquarius, don't uh, lose the beauty and the romance of life. Because some of you are just not getting out there. And some of you are not getting out there and um, moving forward in life because you dealt with maybe an energy of the past. Uh, someone who was playful, was not serious about connections, could have... Um, could have been very flashy, could have drove a very nice car, uh, got a lot of attention uh, from, you know, suitors and peers. Um, you could have been dealing with someone who was a, maybe an athlete or they play sports or they're just in the game, the game of life. And they're, they're definitely playing around or they play it with you. And they're also very flashy. Um, this person, um, it could have been a lot of breakups here, okay? And it could have been that this person was not serious about the connection. Therefore, they maybe just wanted to only hook up with you on the weekend or they gave you a set date or day that they would hook up with you. It was never, um, it was never free flowing. It was always calculated and it was always, you know, it had to be to this person's liking. So maybe you had to deal with an energy where they stagnated their relationship. Um, they didn't uh, allow it to move into anything other than uh, sex here because it seems as if somebody tried to control the narrative or they tried to have control over you here uh, by way of sex because it says all we do is break up and then we make up with an all night sex ses sex session the toxicity yeah it's just like this was the control that they had here you know um, maybe you walked away a few times you would come back together have sex and then you'd be back on but back on meant just um, maybe hooking up on the weekend um, it didn't mean that you guys were gonna have a real relationship there's also somebody here who may have like a sexual addiction this is how they control the narrative this is what they use to control uh, the narrative in relationships in all relationships um, this person um, you may not be having sex right now I don't know if you contracted the STD or the other person did or there there was a scare here um, but th it seems as if this person is very sexual okay and um, this this may have not been what they portrayed to you in the beginning okay um, you could have been married to this person Okay, um, you're not willing to work on the marriage. You're not willing to work on this union um, because um, this person is uh, just toxic altogether and low vibrational, maybe even materialistic, very sexually driven. Um, you can't really work on anything with this person. Uh, they are... They're under their own control, and it may even be sexual control. Um, some of you could be dealing with some infertility issues. Uh, it may be due to the fact that you contracted this STD. For some of you, it's going to be infertility uh, because you're with the wrong person. You're not supposed to procreate with this person. Therefore, that's why some of you are just not willing to work on the marriage. Um, somebody wants to work on it. The other person says no, yes, no. Um yeah, it's just an energy of maybe you just, uh, you got to get yourself back out there, Aquarius. You got to put yourself back out there. Get out of your comfort zone. Um, yeah, step out of your comfort zone. Your north node. It may be in Taurus. Um, you need to focus on more material things. Uh, your money, where it's going, how you're spending it, how you're saving it. Um, are you looking forward or looking towards the future? Do you have futuristic plans? Um, you have to come out of this energy that kept you in a fog or kept you in a loop. Uh, they mean you no good. 
um, do use all of your energy within you to manifest the life that you want, Aquarius. Um, because this person just doesn't, they don't have what you need to actually be in a successful, healthy connection. They, they, they can't, they don't have it. They're not willing to offer it. It just doesn't rest with them. Okay. So it's going to be somewhere else. It looks like some of you are manifesting something else, but not before you do the work. Okay. Do the work on yourself. Therefore, when you do get this true love, if you have not already gotten it, um, it's a love that's lasting. Okay. Um, it's not going to be one where you are, uh, you know, it's it kind of fades away because you hadn't done the work. Don't be the problem, be the solution. Right. Um, so Aquarius, this is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, go over to the website. All right. They're telling me to tell you this. Some of you have jealous friends. Okay. And then you're in need of new real friends. All right. So you just got jealous friends. You're in need of some, some new friends here. All right. Whatever that means for you. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. All links are below. If you want to get your own personal reading, just like this one, um, go over to the website, book there, book an Oracle reading, book any reading. You can also ask a question or two, like, are my friends fake? Are they jealous of me? Should I take this person back? Does they have, do they have a sexual addiction? Questions like that. You can text to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.